يا ايها الذين امنوا اذا نودي للصلاه من يوم الجمعه فاسعوا الى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم ان كنتم تعلمون اما بعد all praise is due to allah we praise him and we glorify his names and we seek his help and we seek his forgiveness whomever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides none comes guide and whomever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows to go astray none can guide and i bear witness there is there is no true deity deserves to be worshiped but allah and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger of allah to proceed my dear brothers and sisters in our khutbah insha allah we will be talking about three main root causes root causes of all sins imam ibn qayyim rahimahullah mentioned that all the sins there are three root causes for them whether these sins are major sins or minor sins only three the root causes from these three roots all types of sins spring number 1 ta'alluq al-qalb ghayr Allah when the heart is attached to other than Allah when the heart is clung to other than allah and this ultimately leads to the shirk the second cause that when you surrender and give up to the force of anger which leads to crime murder killing and the third that when you give up and submit willingly to your lust to your desire so these are the three root causes of all types of sins and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala summarize them in one ayah والذين لا يدعون مع الله الها اخر ولا يقتلون النفس التي حرم الله الا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى اثاما الله سبحانه وتعالى has mentioned all these three causes in this ayah والذين لا يدعون مع الله الها اخر that is the shirk if you associate any partner with allah or call anyone with allah that is the only sin which allah will not forgive so if the heart is attached to other than its creator that leads to the shirk because my dear brothers and sisters allah wants our hearts allah looks to your heart what is there in your heart inna allaha la yanzur ila suwarikum wa la isla aysamikum walakin yanzur ila qulubikum wa a'malikum allah does not look to your complexions or to your bodies but he looks to your hearts and your actions يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون الا من اتى الله بقلب سليم the day when neither wealth nor children will avail and help except those who meet allah with 
pure and clean hearts. This heart, if it is whole, the rest of the body will be whole. And if it is corrupt, the rest will be corrupt. If the heart is attached with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you find this peace and calmness and tranquility in the heart. When it is linked to Allah, you find this heart is always calm. Nothing frightens it because it is with Allah. Rasulullah in the cave of Hira and the Gartho Abu Bakr is telling him, Oh Rasulullah, if one of them just look down, he will see us. Rasulullah said, إِذْ يَقُولْ لِصَاحِبِهِ فِي الْغَاءَ لَا تَحْسَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا Behold, when he was telling his companion, Abu Bakr, in the cave, don't feel sad, don't grieve, because Allah is with us. Allah is with us. So when the heart is with Allah, nothing shakes it. The fear doesn't find its way to it. Because it is with Allah. Musa alayhi salam. Fir'aun behind him with his troops. The sea in front of him. And yet, when Ben Israel said, فَلَمَّا تَرَاءَ الْجَمْعَانِ When now the two, two armies, the two parties are seeing each other, the people of Musa said what? إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ They're going to catch us. What did Musa say? Kalla, Nay! Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. No way that they will catch us. Yes, behind us, the sea in front of us, but Allah with us. Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Allah is with me and he's going, going to guide me. And what did Allah say? Strike the sea with your staff and the sea split. This is when the heart is attached to Allah. When the heart is attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, linked with its creator, you'll find this heart always calm. <coughs> but if the heart is not attached to Allah, and this heart is filled with the love of dunya, with the love of sins, the heart becomes weak. Then anything frightens it. Anything frightens this heart. So that is the first root cause. When the heart is attached to other than Allah. And this leads to the shirk. If your heart turns to other than Allah, that is shirk. You should rely on Allah. Depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hasbuna Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us. We rely on Him. You know Hajar alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam is leaving her with her child in that valley of Makkah no water no vegetation no human beings he just dropped them and he left 
she looked at him and she said Allahu amaraka bihada ya Ibrahim Oh Ibrahim is it Allah who told you to leave us here he only nodded he said اذهب فلن يضيعنا go Allah will not desert us this is the tawakkul this is the tawakkul Allah will not desert us and Allah did not desert them when the heart is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Suraq ibn Malik chased the Prophet sallallahu and Abu Bakr and Abu Bakr looked back and he said, Oh Prophet of Allah, there is a knight, there is a horseman behind us. He said, Don't worry, he cannot do anything to us. Suraka wants to catch the Prophet وسلم, because he wants the 100 camel, the prize. The prize. Suraka was riding his horse three times, three times. All the four of the horse sank into rocky land and he was thrown from off the saddle of the horse three times. Then the Prophet وسلم, he turned to Suraka, said, Suraka, go back. You cannot catch us. Suraka, I know what you are after. You want the 100 camels. But I will give you something better than that. I want you to reflect and see the tawakkul of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Suraqa, go back. I promise that the bracelets of the Emperor of Persia are yours. The bracelets of Khosrow, the Emperor of Persia, are yours. Imagine. A man is chased and wanted, and he's promising the bracelets of Khosrow. The Prophet ﷺ passed away. Suraqa became a Muslim. The Muslims took and conquered Persia. The bracelets of the emperor were brought to Medina during the reign of Sayyidina Umar. Sayyidina Umar. Suraka, where are you? Get up. Give me your hands. This is what the Prophet ﷺ promised you. This is the tawakkul. This is when the heart is attached to Allah. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ in Allah, put your trust if you are true believers. He takes care, He protects. Allahu yudafi'u an alladheena amanu. Allah defends the believers. Allah defends those who worship Him, trust Him, rely on Him. So the root cause for all sins, number one, is when the heart is attached to other than Allah. And this leads to the shirk. The second, when you submit and give up to the force of anger, Anger. This disease, the anger. You know that the Prophet ﷺ, when the Sahabi came to him and said, Ya Rasulullah, O Sini, O Prophet of Allah, advise me, give me a piece of advice. He said, La taqdab. He said, give me more. La taghdab. More. La taghdab walakal jannah. 